Belt's vocabulary lesson. And in this lesson, we're going to look at some general vocabulary that will be especially useful for the speaking and writing sections of the IELTS test. And we're going to be looking specifically at openers that you can use. Now, I feel that openers are a very important part of language that you need to be able to use to get a good score in your IELTS test. And it shows the examiner that you can organize your ideas and begin discussing your thinking. So let's take a look at some of the openers that we'll be looking at today. First, we have three different openers for sharing opinion. In my opinion, I believe, I feel that. Then we have some openers for adding extra pieces of information and giving more detail. In addition, furthermore, another reason is. And finally, we have some openers for comparing and contrasting. We use these openers to begin discussing a different kind of thinking or the opposite idea to something. On the other hand, in contrast, however. So here are three different types of openers that you can use. Again, they'll be really useful for the speaking and writing sections of the IELTS test. And I think that you should be practicing using these openers. So let's move on to taking a look at some of these openers in use. And we'll begin with, in my opinion. In my opinion, it's hugely important to stop using plastic. In my opinion, wearing fashionable clothes does not mean you are a good person. So there we go, our first opener for sharing opinions, in my opinion. Let's see the next example. I believe. I believe my family have influenced me very much. I believe that all people should have equal opportunities in life. And I've just highlighted a phrase here, which is a collocation, equal opportunities. That's a very native sounding expression. So something that you could quite easily use too. And the next example is, I feel that. I feel that we should try to ride buses and trains to protect the environment. I feel that family is much more important than money. So we have three examples of openers to share your opinion. Now, once again, in the IELTS speaking and writing sections of the test, it is not good if you repeat phrases, vocabulary and language to often. So, especially when you're writing and speaking, you need to use a mix of openers and vocabulary. Here are three different ones for sharing opinion. Let's move on to the next set of openers, which is adding information. Uh, in addition, so this is a great opener to begin speaking about something that you've already discussed, but you want to give extra detail. In addition. In addition to my family's farm, we also have a small fishing lake. So you can see in this example, you were probably discussing your family's farm already, but you want to give extra information and you've added this and said something about this small fishing lake. In addition to my family's farm, we also have a small fishing lake. So you've added extra detail. In addition, it seems we should try to exercise daily. And the next example is furthermore, a really great opener again to add extra information. Furthermore, Sri Lankan food is definitely very delicious. Furthermore, I would like to study for my master's degree in Australia. 
Okay, and the last example for adding information is another reason is. Another reason is I don't like windy and wet weather. And the next example, another reason is that I always enjoyed painting. So studying art makes great sense to me. So you can see in this final example, you've been discussing or writing about painting and you want to add another reason to why you enjoy it. Studying art makes great sense to me. Another reason is adding more information. Let's move on to the next set of openers, which is for comparing and contrasting and showing a difference in thinking. On the other hand, on the other hand, many people also want to use planes even more than before. On the other hand, fast foods are also quick and cheap, making them very popular. So here you're signaling to the examiner that you want to discuss a difference in opinion. You're contrasting different kinds of thinking and you use this opener on the other hand to begin talking about this. Let's see the next example. In contrast. In contrast, France can be very expensive place to live. In contrast, a HD television gives you a crystal clear image to watch. I've also highlighted this phrase, this collocation, crystal clear. Um, I just thought it was something that you might want to use. It's a lovely expression and can be used uh, when you're talking about TVs or computer screens. When the image is HD, you can describe it as crystal clear. Okay, and our final opener is, however, a really great way to show contrast in thinking. However, I will try and expand my tastes and try some spicy foods. However, if I have chance to find a job at home, I will try that too. So our final opinion opener for uh, comparing and contrasting is however. Okay, so that is nine different openers that you could easily use in the IELTS speaking and writing test. And you might also hear, hear them or, or read them in the listening and uh, reading sections too. Um, okay, that's all. Try and practice using these nine openers as much as you can. It really shows the examiner a level of confidence in English. And of course, remember the IELTS test is purely a test of uh, grading your English fluency. So do try and use these openers to begin discussing or writing about your ideas.